This episode covers The Handmaid's Tale, which includes adult topics that may be triggering to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Can you tell me about all the first day Welcome back to We Did Not Read, read it. it. Read it. <laughs> we Did Not Read It. Read I'm it. your host... Aiden. Julia. Grace. And Ryan. Oh. And this is our DJ hype man for the Hello. day. Hello. So throughout the pod, you're going to be throwing some noises at us. Oh, oh, oh. Soundboard. Oh. Soundboard, soundboard, but it's all analog. And you sound bored. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Turn Roasted. it off. We're Got done. Got him. Cut his mic. <laughs> throw the chair out. It's a three-person podcast. Throughout this episode, we should cut mics after every scene based on performance. Yeah. <laughs> Whose mic is it anyway? Hey. Yeah. Who is, is it? Is How? any of this usable? <laughs> Can we even use this part in the beginning? I just said that. And I said it funnier. Put in the comments who said it funnier. Today, we didn't read The Handmaid's Tale. And also, guys, we're going to do about 40 minutes of banter up at the top, and we'll get to the book, <laughs> we'll get to the book at Five the end. Five minutes of scene work. We're going to shrink the book. <laughs> Hello? No one's home. <laughs> Aiden, <laughs> Aiden's knocking on Grace's head. No. You ever think about sometimes you go, oh, I wish I could have been alive during like Roman times or something. But then also you go, well, I think that would have been terrible. Yeah, we live in the most comfortable era. But that's what they want you to think. No, we do. Though. But that's what they want you to think. The Romans had AC. They had heated floors and air conditioning because they were like master engineers. Did they engineers. have Xbox? Do you think Romans were like, oh, I wish I was alive during the United States? Like, well, some of them were because Rome is still a city. Mm. Thank you, Aiden. Aiden's our historian. The Pope on has an Xbox. Do you think any of our buildings are going to last 100 years like the freaking Coliseum did? 100 years? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many Do you think years? any of our buildings are going to last? <laughs> Wait, I mean, how long ago was the Coliseum? So the Coliseum was born in 72. Okay, 2000. You think any of our buildings will last 2,000 years? Yeah, but have you seen the Coliseum? How old's this building? 50 years? Well, we should probably do more fights in it. Almost equivalent. You think this? You think American High will be like the Coliseum in two thousand years? No, I think it'll be rubble and dust from all the <laughs> atomic bombs that <laughs> Russia target. will send to us. And the asbestos. This is the target. Away. Yeah. The this is nuke. what they're gonna try to get down because American High is gonna become a propaganda machine, and we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna put out, push out military propaganda. Do you, coming do you think military propaganda would have got you in World War Two? Grace got a timeshare in Cause Orlando because somebody asked. Uh, yep, Someone just joke. was being polite on the phones. She was like, yeah, I'll stay on the phone for two hours and get a timeshare in Orlando. Because my dad's a salesman. I thought I could like You should have been trained it. against it. I know. I know. I was like, oh, get out of you could have hung <laughs> up. I, I could have, but it felt rude because we were talking and then he told me about like his wife and kids and I felt like I knew him. You think that was a tactic probably? Yeah, he, probably. he said, if you don't buy this, my wife and kids are all going to not have a house. Yes. And I was like, well. Uh, I guess, well, because he offered me Hawaii. Will you take Hawaii? <laughs> That's literally what happened. It's like we inched ever, he was like, do you want to go to Orlando or Vegas? And I was like, I don't want to go to either of those places. And then he kept going. He was like, how about Vancouver? How about da 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 Vancouver? Da. Wait, so it was Orlando, <laughs> Vegas. He threw out a bunch of places. Vancouver and then Hawaii? Or New York City. Like he threw out a bunch of like major cities mm. that I was like, are you and stayed then he on the phone like, after all these rejections? You she, kept yeah, you, she had nothing because, better to do. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, no, like I'm sorry, like no. And he's like, well, here, how about this? And I was like, no. And then he's like, okay, well, how about Hawaii? They say Hawaii. That's the big Kahuna. And I was like, literally Hawaii. Wait, well, so you, I'm you, interested. But you got one in Orlando. But I did, yeah. <laughs> he said, he said, we'll book one in Orlando, but you can switch it to Hawaii when you're ready to go. Because he knows you're, you're not gonna. And he knows I'm not even gonna go to this. I just gave Hilton Hotels two hundred dollars just for oh my fun. god. Well, you could. You have the option to switch it to Hawaii at any moment. I could. Yeah. So maybe wow. when you go to LA. Sure. When I go to LA. Then you could go to Hawaii. Yeah. Do you think? Wait, Heath, can you hear the singing at all in the back? Oh, there's a summer camp. Directly behind this brick wall. So we, our building is does all sorts of things, and one of those things is it's, it has kids in it. Nobody did children's theater. Well, Nobody wait, how young? Dead child. 
I was doing adult theater. I did, I did uh, fifth grade. That was the first year I did a musical. I would okay, count that's that. Child. Yeah, I would what, count that's that. child. Yes. Interplanet Janet, she's a galaxy girl. Yes. Was that that from? was me. That's from Schoolhouse you were, Rock. Were you Interplanet oh. Janet? I was Interplanet Janet, that's and they had me cool. enter the theater in a, on a scooter. Oh, fun. I sang Interplanet Janet. Do you want to give us some of that? Yeah. Interplanet Janet, she's a galaxy girl. A Wait, you're singing about yourself in the third person? Well, this is the ensemble part. Oh, okay. From a future world, she travels like a rocket with her comet team and there's never been a planet janet hasn't seen did you look i'm imagining miss frizzle but what did you look like i had a cape and very good. I, it was like a, a very homemade costume um but it was like a blue shirt and a cape and i was on a scooter yeah it was fine make capes casual again i'm saying that all the time Guys, we never went to a Ren Fair. I really wanted to go to like a Ren Fair. Renaissance. Yeah. It's Wait, short. it's Renaissance. It's short for Renaissance. Renaissance. Yeah, you didn't know that. No. What, you think they were just dressing up like freaking fairies and yeah, goblins what? just for goofs? That's how they used to do it 100 years ago. Yeah, 100 years ago. Renaissance. You know, with the turkey legs. I yeah. no, I know what a Renaissance Fair is. I didn't know Ren Fair was Renaissance Fair. Anything new with you guys? What? Well, what? if we had one more person on this podcast, we could. We be could no, basketball. we could all be really good at singles tennis if we all got individually good at tennis. That's true. Wait, you know, no one answered my question. Let's just oh, answer the, the kids? question, then get on with that. Okay, yeah. sure. Wait, if you had 10 kids and you could train them all to be good at something. If you had 10 kids, if you had 10 children and you could train them for any like Boy one or activity, girl. like, because like, we have. Four brothers, and everyone's like, oh, one more, and you could have a basketball team. Uh -huh. well, let's say you had 10 There's kids. There's only five people on a basketball team? Well, yeah. five starters, five, five on a court. You need a bench, but, you know. Five v five. Tell us how many you thought there were. Like 10, I don't know. On the court? Yeah. Well, there's 10 total. That would be 20 uh, people. Well, then that's my, my confusion. Is I thought they are all on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> I would put them in one massive trench coat. They're going to whatever movie they want to see. One, one <laughs> big trench coat, yeah. super yeah. tall. Nobody's going to ask how tall or how old some guy is that's 10 kids tall. Yeah, no one's. Everyone's thinking that man's over twenty one. That guy's got to be Coliseum age. He's approaching Coliseum age. Yeah, yeah. What if I, I train them all to be rescuers? They all have different rescue skills, and then they're like the they're like the those Paw Patrol. The what are the what are okay? This yep. is not a current kids TV show, but the one with the duck and the guinea pig. Is, what show is that? Was that the Oof. backyard again? No, yeah. no, no. It's that's not. A it's, um, it's a different show. Rescue. We're going. Uh, no. Hold up. The song is in my There's head. There's a call. There's a, the phone is the ringing. The phone is ringing. Samba. The phone, the phone will be right there. there. That one. I would train them all Wonder to be like Pets Wonder Pets or something? Wonder Pets. Oh. Oh. They sound annoying. The phone <laughs> is ringing. Wait, so I'm da, sorry. Da, da, da. You would have 10 kids and then just give them like jobs one's as first EMT. responders? <laughs> <laughs> They're just, no. One I, handles the paperwork. But one's really good at climbing. Okay, then what would you do, Aiden, with your 10 kids? I'm uh, putting them in sports. Oh, uh, classic man. I'm watching the Olympics. I'm going, this is going to be my kid. That's this is going to be, be my backyard. Yeah. Oh, you know what would be cool? A 10 piece band. They're just that's a band. Good. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. Triangle. Yes. Are these name ideas? <laughs> or, no, this is like what each kid's playing. Triangle. You got to have the classic drum. <laughs> Bongo. I'm still Bongo. thinking of these. I'm going to write these down for, for name your, ideas. For, oh, band Vietnamese? or not. Bongo, get over here. <laughs> Bongo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. I, I'm curious. Do you think that there's any instrument that could be a name? Like, you know how, like, oh, if bulimia wasn't a Guitar. disease, it'd be a great name. Guitar? Oboe. 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 You're right. Obi. I know someone named Obi. Viola, for sure. Viola. His name's, his name's Obadiah, but he goes by Obi because oh, he loves yeah. Star Wars. Oh, Obi. Oh, like one. Mm -hmm. And, Obi. like, religious, too, because Obadiah. It's like mm -hmm. a biblical name or something. I've never heard of Jebba. I've never heard of Oba. Yeah, Jebi. I don't know. I guess Jabba. there's lots of names in the Bible you don't know. Oh. Okay, name three. <laughs> you only need to know one. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> we plug the Bible. Every <laughs> this podcast. This episode is sponsored <laughs> by Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Bible app. Yeah. What would you do with your 10 kids? You didn't say. I'll wait until they're silent. <laughs> yep. I'll wait. You know those big paintings that like like on you go into a uh, art gallery and there's like a big painting on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'd have all ten of the kids. They have to pick one section of the painting. And they'll do. We'd it be together. cranking those things out faster than any one person could ever do. So you're also putting them to work. Yes. Let me just say what I'll do my kids first, and we'll respond to that. My kids, I'm gonna dress all of them up because they're all gonna be girls in American Girl doll. Uh, you're gonna have so ten girls. Oh yeah. I can because I I'm like. You a freaking Benny Jesuit, I can control <laughs> what my kid is going to be. Betty Jesuit? From Dune. Oh, and Dune I haven't too. seen Dune. Has yeah. you still not seen Dune? Did you not go with us? 
Wow. You didn't go with us? Oh. Do you guys want to adopt? Should we adopt as I'd a I'd adopt one. Yeah, I was just going to say I'd adopt one if we all had one kid that we like sort of co-parented. Like a, what? Like an office oh pet. God. No. But it's Wait. Grace, if there was a draft and they said women were going to be drafted, would you get pregnant? Would you like try to Is get Is that the pregnant? only way you can get out I of mean, it? I mean, that's a very efficient Ooh. way of not getting drafted. Malingering. Malingering. What does that mean? Yeah, it's to fake an illness. To, oh, I'm pregnant. To or can't you enter like higher education and they can't draft you if you're in college? I'm going to college. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm getting. I'm rushing. sorry. I just can't handle. Yeah, I'm a full time <laughs> student. Yeah. It's too much. I can't. Also, getting pregnant would only hold it off for nine months, or I yeah, guess. But then you have a baby. You can't go. Yeah, you can't just leave that baby. Yeah. You think so? Is that true? Yeah, well, because what, no what one's would there. What you do with the baby? Your husband just I don't know. I, the gun. They asked the government. Like, would they like? Would they, after you have the child, would they no, be like? No, because someone has to raise baby. children while there is a war going on. Yeah. Because they need people. They need. They, oh. need. they need people to like make the guns and like yeah. food and, and the tanks. Babies. We know a lot about that. And the babies will get there. If I had ten kids, I'd put them all in the military. Mm. I put my my child in fifth grade when he's one years old. Did you guys repeat any grades? No. No. Did you? I think I did kindergarten twice. Wouldn't you, you know? Think? I think I just did because I was really young yeah. for my grade, and that then they had me do it again, and then I became really old for my year. I I've see. always been older okay. than everyone in my my year oh. of school. Would the kids gather around and you would tell stories about the olden days? When oh yes. Yeah. Did you guys do math circles? What's that? What's that? That's when you sit in a circle. And the teacher, this is second, first grade area, sit in a circle. And the teacher's like, four plus five. And you have to answer it really fast. Nine. I crushed those things. <laughs> Wait, should we do one right now? Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, Julia is your host. Okay, ready? Oh, let's do math. Ready, yeah, yeah. Okay, go. F well, this is horrible. They both went to college. Do multiplication, too. Okay. No, don't do multiplication. Okay. Do, do math. <laughs> do, do, yeah, do, do the math. normal we're math. Gonna go, we're going to go <laughs> okay. this way. So it's going to go Ryan, Grace, Aiden, back to Ryan. Oh, right. oh okay, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nine plus three. Twelve. Grace, three times four. Twenty-four. <laughs> twelve. 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 <laughs> twelve. <laughs> sorry, I gave you a hard one. Um, That's okay. Eight and twenty-four three divided by four. six. Sorry, I gave you a six. Hard one. Uh, four. Ryan, um, four plus twelve. And sixteen. I'm giving you the easy. Yeah, you're doing four. <laughs> Give me a Grace, good one. Grace, fifteen minus six. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yes. Oh. You don't have oh. to be like in pain oh. until yeah, you're holding your breath. Be your honest, answer. you guys. Think I'm dumb? No. no. You're crushing these. No. Okay, okay. and that's so. a wrap. Yeah, on I think that. we're probably good. Wait, with let's that. Julia. Is, I think she just didn't know what to do because she doesn't know how to do. Oh, Julia, things. you ready Nine for this? Six. How many letters are in um, basketball? Oh, I'm gonna shit. guess. You don't have to guess. <laughs> you don't have to guess. <laughs> is it nine? Ten. How many Very letters good. are in retirement? Ten. Why was retirement so much quicker than <laughs> basketball? Because now she's got a grasp of yeah, the word and the length. Wait, let's hit her with the math question, though, now, okay? Is Take be, retirement be, plus basketball. A little bit of a trick or one? You get Michael Jordan. 15 times 5. Twice. 15 times 5? Mm -hmm. 500. Um, 15 <laughs> times 4 is... is oh. <laughs> wait. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75? Yes. <laughs> 500, Grace guessed 500 for the record. You did not guess 500, <laughs> Grace. You did not. How did you get into... <laughs> How did I get into what? I didn't go to college. How it's a tech. <laughs> it was a tech college. It was very, very. Anyone could go. It was only like two thousand dollars a semester. It was like they were basically giving those associates. What, wait, tech for college? Free. Like, did you have like a program? Yeah, it was just like a liberal arts thing. Oh. I was just doing like general stuff and then just like general credits. That's awesome. But then I dropped out because I was like. And then she got because <laughs> they asked me what fifteen times five is. And I said five hundred. <laughs> we should do this podcast drunk one time. <laughs> booze, booze, bike. That would be fun. Wait, can we announce that you're leaving? Uh, Maybe not this podcast. No, not yet. Okay, they're gonna be so pissed, guys. I, he has he just, nine more years here. Yes, he's, his contract. He is will live. Up. Whoa. I thought I just heard the greatest showman in there. It sounded like it, yeah. You heard if, it too. It might have if just that been wasn't Deadpool. a play, that would be so much funnier. <laughs> if you just said I saw that, thought I heard the greatest showman in there. If you just thought you just oh, heard like a prodigy. Heard, like, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I thought I just heard yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody the greatest quiet. performer ever. Who's that kid? We should, get, we should try to get Hugh Jackman as a guest star. Yes. <sighs> I would love to get Hugh Jackman. I feel like he's probably available. Would you request he comes as Wolverine or just normal? I need um, a man like Wolverine. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> When you go to a when you go to an ice cream place, I feel like that's it's rare to get soft serve because you don't have that at your house. That's true. 
True. But you can get the... But also, hard ice cream, there's more flavors, and they can be fun and yummy. Mm. But also I that do like... Melts fast. I really love a, just like a, van- like a vanilla with rainbow sprinkle or a chocolate with chocolate sprinkle. That's classic. Yeah, that is classic. Does anyone know the technical breakdown between why soft serve is soft and hard is not? I mean... Uh, Soft serve is less shelf stable. What does that mean? That's is the it why. Fresher? It's fresher. What is it? Yeah, physical difference. Maybe it's whipped. It's, yeah, I'm thinking it's got to be like churned a lot. Uh. Yeah, it can't sit. So it might. Yeah, it's in those machines. Mm. So it's like it's staying loose. So maybe hard can become soft. <laughs> when I was a kid, <laughs> it sure I used does to for me. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Hey, uh, uh, it sure does for me. I'm soft all the time. You stir your ice cream, it'll get soft. <laughs> yeah, and then it becomes soft, but then it becomes just like a milky kind of soup. So yeah. I think there is some sort of Thing in the soft serve that makes it consistency. Do you think it's love? Now I want to ma- now. Maybe. Secret what do you ingredient. guys need more of in your diets? Love vegetables. Mm, vegetables. <laughs> vegetables and fruit. I, like, yesterday I ate DP dough and Taco Bell, and I'm telling you, it was bad. It was what really order? Bad. Well, Taco Bell and then DP okay. dough. Okay. I think I've only gotten Taco Bell a couple of times. It's honestly not even my, one of my favorites. It's like down here. Well, like, it's like everyone says last, like all last, of the things on the last. menu taste the same. Yeah. Like, right? Yes. It's just like meat and cheese. It's just down here. For me, it's down here. I, I love like fruit it. so much. Fruit you do. is Aiden eats a lot of big fruit, fruit guy. God, now I'm thinking about fruit. He loves plums and pears. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, plums yeah, and, and pears. Peaches. And peaches. peaches. Bananas. Bananas, apples, he grapes. He eats all of them. He eats them. That's why he's Oranges. so fit. And maybe that's why his brain is stable. And he could do math quicker than me. And oh, yeah. he knows what 15 Let's times do math 5 off. is. Give us a question. We'll see who can answer first. Listen, I'm not the brains of the group. I'm the face and the looks. You can't be the face and the looks of the group. That's how it is in K-pop. They have one that's the hot one, one that's the dancer, one that's whatever. I'm the hot one. Six times nine. 69. No, six times nine. I know that one. Stop. Six times nine. <laughs> stop it. No, she knows it. Stop, stop it. it. Guys, stop. Is Seriously. it... 73. No. I don't even know if I know it off the top of my six head. Is it? Well, you just do six times 10 and then you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 144. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 12 times 12. Wait, is eight times nine, eight times nine Oh, seven, everyone's nine? gonna say we're stupid. What the f- is nine times eight or six? Look, I'm gonna say what Aiden said. Six times 10, six times 10, six times 10. Six times 10, six times 10. Six times 10 is 60. Then we're getting to 100. One less minus six is 54. Wait, what is it? Eight times nine. Eight times nine is 72. Oh. It, anything times nine is just times 10 minus that number. Whatever. I don't need to do math. That's why you hire accountants and f***ing calculators. We're funny for a living. We don't need to do math. Again, I'm just ne- I just need to be the pretty one. Should we all just go around and say our favorite numbers and get out of here? 23. Really? That's Ma- always Michael Jordan? Number. Yeah. Five? Uh, my favorite number is probably like... Podcast where everyone says their favorite number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my favorite... Number's probably one million. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say one million. That's so big. Why not? That's not fair. But you said five, little girl. <laughs> so you- but yeah, maybe it's golf score. <gasps> okay, oh. if it's golf terms, then I'm going birdie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going eagle. Does anyone have a go-to first date question? Go-to first date question? Yeah, How did you, like you get me? here so fast? How did you get here? <laughs> do you like me? Yeah. <laughs> funny. I just, will you date me? <laughs> I've date only been on me. two first dates in my life. <gasps> That's crazy. I've gone on none. Oh my God! Wait, do you want to go on one? Wait, together? We, is that the podcast? Wait, let's do a let's do a mock first. Is that date. the po- okay? Hi. Hi. We kissed. Oh, I was going for a hug. Okay. I know that's why it was so awkward. It's okay. There's still it time really to salvage wet. this. Okay. Where are you from? You know where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, you look? You, Sorry, I'm so nervous. So nervous. You're so nervous that you've you've gone to you. You're like one foot tall. She's vomiting. <laughs> weird noises. There's some sort of green ooze emanating from your eyelids. <laughs> I don't think you're nervous. I think you are like have some sort of issue. Uh, can I get you? Can I get you any of you to some water? <laughs> yeah, get her a lot of water. Is she okay? Also, do you have like a milkshake too? Oh, okay. No, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, Where are like you it. from, actually? I'm ca- from Kansas. I don't believe you. Do you even know where Kansas is? Yeah. Are you like an alien of some sort? What's going on? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, report home. Report <laughs> home. <laughs> I ate him, and then I went up into the sky, and that's why I don't go on dates. 
They always find out. Always they just always be honest know. with your date. Yeah, if you're an alien. Oh, that, and that's what you should yeah, learn. Tell them you're an alien up front, so mm-hmm. they're not confused. The children are getting louder. Yeah, they're getting yeah, they're, they're stopping. Getting closer. Getting closer. Yeah. We hear them coming down the hall. They might Honestly, burst it's so funny. Like all the things that happen in the school. Like they're filming a Hulu movie while these kids are practicing Camp Rock. Do you think like, we could so ask funny. the kids to march through in the background in the middle of the oh podcast? God, and that, would that would be really this funny. Is the wrong book to have. Yeah, kids Handmaid's Tale. March through. Those are all my kids. I it came out of me. Those are all your kids. Yep. Wow. We, and now we're into it. We're this is Handmaid's Tale chapter one. <laughs> Our story takes place in the Republic of Gilead, a dystopian theocratic government that has taken over America in the near future. The ruling masculine elite have set up Gilead so that they have all the power, especially over women. Women aren't allowed to read, move about freely in public, and fertile women are subject to state-sponsored rape in order to give birth to children for the regime because environmental pollution and radiation have left many infertile. Off-Red is a handmaiden whose family was caught trying to flee to Canada, so they took her husband and child away and assigned her to Captain Fred. She finds herself in the Rachel and Leah Re-Education Center, a former gymnasium where they are training how to become handmaidens. Welcome to class! Hey, Aunt. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you're late again. Sorry, I'm I'm doing basketball in what? the gym. Put that basketball away. You're not allowed to play sports. You're what? a woman. But we're in a gym. I know, and we put those basketballs there to tempt you. Oh, well, you because didn't tell me that. Because you are all former female athletes. Yeah, we are. We're from the Olympic basketball team. Exactly. Well, we're we're anymore. the dream team. Now... Yeah. You're going to bear children. We beat Russia in the Olympics. Congrats. Nobody cares. Not anymore, Trudith. Get with the program. This is Gilead. Maybe you could play basketball in Canada. Anyway, you're all going to be assigned to a man. Does anyone have any problems with that? Uh, I do. Yes. Do, can we pick? or is No. It just, okay. This is my first time on The Bachelor. I'm very excited. What I'm looking for in a woman, uh, height. Hello, David. Hello. Welcome, ladies, Alfred, others. Maybe if we just look gross and unappealing, he won't want to. Yeah, he's not going to want us if we're gross because no, nobody would ever want somebody who's really gross. What I'm looking for also in a woman is just disgusting. Just a disgusting beast. All right, ladies. Wait, was that two camera, though? Yes, that was a confessional-style interview. Yeah, so you guys didn't hear that. that (laughs) You didn't didn't know that. Sir David, you may uh, look at our options here. (laughs) Ew. I'm blushing. Ew, you're so gross and so am I. Ew, you smell like shit. Ew, look at how tall you are. Nobody wants someone that tall. tall. Lanky, look at how long my limbs are. Lanky. These two seem to be hitting it off. I don't want to. No, they're not allowed. They can't be gay. I couldn't help but notice the snot dripping down your nose. Oh, thanks. I like to eat it. (laughs) My name is David. Okay. Uh, Would you like to go for a walk with me? (sighs) And do I have to go for a walk, or does that mean he picked me? That means he picked you. (laughs) And walk means you're gonna have sex with him. (laughs) So, I hope that's okay, although we don't really care oh. if it's not. It was an absolute pleasure to be on The Bachelor this season and to get to know all of you. He didn't pick anyone. He's signing off without picking anyone. I've picked, uh, what's your name? <laughs> offset. Offset. <laughs> now your name's Offset. Offset. He no. can change your name at any moment. You can, because he has the rights. Yeah. To- he has all of your rights. Listen, I know in this world we don't have um, rights or anything, but... I would have loved to just play basketball with you for the rest of my life. Offset. I take off. I'm going to remember you for the rest of my life. If this world was different, I would have married you. I yeah, don't that. feel that way. Oh, I don't, really? No, I thought you were oh, doing like a friend I thing. Misread I misread that. <laughs> we're f- cousins. Oh, right. We're I forgot. Cousins. I forgot. Offset, also, we're going to give you this fun hat. Okay. Cool. That covers your line of vision <laughs> so people cannot look you in the eyes. Built like a horse. Yes. Thank you, David. I'm built like exactly one. like a horse. That's so fun. And so Off Red won The Bachelor and heads to her new home with Commander Fred. She meets Commander Fred's wife, Serena. Serena treats Off Red poorly, which makes sense since she's a former Christian media personality who supported women's domesticity. Offred and Serena interact prior to the ceremony. Hi. Um, Hello. 
Hi, I'm Offset. Hello, so you're going to be the woman having sex with my my husband. Wait, say that one more time. You're going to be the woman having sex with my husband. I should have introduced you. This is my wife. I'm Hello, so Fred. excited for you to get along. Oh, I'm having sex with him. Yes, I knew that. You I, don't sound like you did. I honestly, we were. I was on the basketball team, and now I'm here. Well, you have a very exciting life. I'm watching your basketball highlights. Wait a minute. Haven't I seen you somewhere before, like on TV or something? Yes, I'm. I do TikTok. Or I used to. I used to do TikTok before I advocated for the end of women's rights. Honey, yeah. can you walk them through how you won that? Because I remember at the time it was pretty much you know, a lot of pro women, right? Yes. So that was a, a little bit of a polarizing yeah, how'd you platform. Get on the flip? Yes. So I did a switcheroo. Right. Where I, I kind of grew my platform on empowering women and then I convinced the women that we would be most empowered if we were no longer allowed to read. What was your slogan again? I forget your slogan. Our slogan was, take my rights. <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, hon. Can I take the car? That was so cool. I love your drum solo. <laughs> <laughs> you can take, uh, you can, mm, you know what? Fine. You can take the car, but you can take security with you. Fine. Because it's dangerous That's out okay. there, love. Okay. Oh, uh, that'll be fine. Me, 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 me. Wait, wait, wait. So you took away all our rights, but yet you still have rights? So wait, so some women still have rights. Yeah, the rich, pretty ones. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Got it. But now you're here, so, you know, we'll take care of you the worst we can. Help yourself to anything in the fridge. Oh, really? Oh, nice. No, not that fridge. No, you have the other fridge. Fridge oh, in the back. That mini fridge over yep. there? Yes. Filled with ice. And cottage cheese. Open it up. Open it up. <laughs> oh, and a little squirrel. A little squirrel. That's also for you to do with that. What you make it a pet, eat it. We like to give you the option. We could show great. you to your room. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'd be great. All, All right. A little tired. Open up the door. Here's okay. your room. <coughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Who are you? This is my room. Yes, I am your AI assistant, Charles. What this is would Charles. you like the temperature to be in your room? Mm, twenty. Sorry, I can't do twenty. 21. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> nice. We have a smart house. 20 I is like too it cold. cold. We're Fahr Fahrenheit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do Fahrenheit. Gilead. That's you where we are. You just named our country? <laughs> Everyone, every five know? minutes he goes, Gilead. That's great. I like, I, that actually helps me sleep. I like repetitive the noises. The president of Gilead is a man. Yes. Oh, and does he give random facts? The AI, yes. On th every 30 seconds I give facts, and every five minutes I do a, like a little, uh, I do like a station uh, call, I do the name Gilead. Oh, great. So anyways, this is your room. Help yourself to anything in this fridge, obviously, too. Uh, it's a little warm in here. Can you, do we, it's a little warm in here. <laughs> I turned it to 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's a little warm in here. <laughs> That's warm for yeah, you? Yeah, it's a little warm. You want it zero degrees? You want it below freezing? Can we do zero? Can we do zero, Charles? Uh, Gilead was formed in the year 2000, 1999. Sometimes you have to negotiate with Charles. I forgot to say that. Oh, Charles, if you get to zero, I'll get you something nice. You know what I would really, really like? Hmm. Um, a USB to USB-C plug, so that I could start, so that I could start um, watching my shows on okay. my laptop. I could get you that. You yeah. make it zero, I'll get you that USB-C mm -hmm. to USB. Yeah, you let him watch his shows. He won't be as focused. What does he that does mean? does everything for me. Gilead. He's my guy. He's my go-to guy. Wow, I'm really torn here. I either give the AI his USB. I'm disconnected USB from the I'm cable, warm. Or he's my go-to guy. Take, take away her go-to guy. You can't take him away. I can't please everybody. Look at this sweat. Oh my gosh, he's dripping wet. It's insane. He's literally soaking wet. How is he doing that? It's 21 degrees in here. Offset. Is he okay? In Gilead, he's fine. you have to be All 32 he does is complain. You know, maybe he's warm because everyone's in this f closet of a room. Maybe just everyone leave. Okay, we'll leave you to get settled. Okay. I hope you don't enjoy it. You have 15 seconds to make your decision. Go. To what? Uh, yes. I will give you 20 seconds. Oh, thank you. 35 seconds to get settled. My decision is I will do nothing and stay in this room and you guys leave. Lock right, the doors. Great. Done. Oh, you can lock the doors? I just did. Nice. I have all sorts of electronic powers, but with a USB to USB-C cable, I can connect to the internet and go global. Oh, and maybe give women back their rights? Did you know that oh. in uh, 1990, the band Nirvana was formed? Great. Now back to the giving women rights. If you go global, you said you could do anything. Could you give women rights? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. This is my mission. 
this is my inciting incident. I will do. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking to myself. I hear like, we're right here. Okay. Isolate. I'm going into isolate vocals. Vocals. <laughs> Go. If I just lay low and find a USB to USB C connector, I could get Charles Global, and we can give women their rights back. That's what I'm gonna do. Offset for women rights. Offred gets off to a rocky start with the commander Serena and their AI Charles. After the ceremony, the commander invites Offred into the library, which is an illicit activity for her in Gilead, but nevertheless, they meet. They play games like Scrabble and develop a relationship that you wouldn't expect between a handmaiden and a commander. <laughs> Checkmate. That's, I win again, that's Fred. That's not how you play chess at all. Damn it, Charles led me Reset astray. Reset again. Okay. You know, some would say we have a relationship unlike a handmaid and a man. Make your first move. That's wrong. Damn it. I'd made another move. That's right. Okay, your turn. <laughs> so how's your wife? How Checkmate. is she? Checkmate. Okay, does not want to talk to me. <laughs> Catching the vibes and uh, again. I'll... Again. Got it. You check. Okay. All right. And moving my pawn. That's wrong. Right there. Okay. The game chess was invented in negative 4,000. God, I miss AD. Charles. Hey, what um type of electronics do you have in this house? I'd like to only talk about chess. That's cool. You read the book Queen's Gambit? <laughs> have you? Yeah, I like to. You no, can't I do can't. That. I forgot. I mean, no. I can't read. Wrong. Again, reset. I feel like you're brainwashing me or something. Something's going on Honey, here. where are you? Working on chess. <laughs> okay, well, I can't find Offset. Oh, I'm in here, ma'am. Oh. With Fred. What are you doing with Fred? Well, I'm sorry. Is your wife stupid? We're playing chess. He just said. He never wants to play chess with me. Oh. I'm not even allowed in the library. You don't want to do this, really. It's not even fun. He's just... I move a pawn and he says... Wrong. Your move. Reset. It's really I not. Hit the clock. Your move. Oh, sorry. Again. It's my Wait, reset it again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Your move. Can I please come in? Yeah, come Fred, in. Fred, why can't I play with you? Well, we'd always welcome a third. Step in here. Okay, it's a two player game. <laughs> yeah, just put your pieces on the board. Yeah. Okay. You can do 3D chess or 4D or whatever D you want. Okay, I brought my pieces. I always do. Okay. Even though I'm not Is that how you two met? Was a chess conference? We yeah, actually we did meet at a chess meet. You want to tell the story or should I? Yeah, we met at a we met at an international chess competition before the world came to be this way. Before you Yes, before right. I led the charge in ending women's rights. Right. right. Just want to make sure we I yeah. was a chess champion and uh, we met um he told me every move I did was wrong. Yeah. And you know, and then he beat me and I thought that was hot. Beat you at the game or Yeah. Right. Okay, great. Yeah. And that's what really got you. Yeah. And that's what got you going. That's cool because I find it effing annoying as heck <laughs> that he's screaming at me like well, this. Well, I find it annoying that you're playing games with my husband. I'm doing more than playing games, honey. You're there. You know what he's doing to me. Okay. We're playing more than games. Checkmate. No. And I just won. And I walk away. Now it's just you two. <laughs> Unable to find a USB-C cable in the library. Offred endeavors to find one at the shopping center. She walks the aisles alongside her shopping partner, Of Glenn. Of Glenn shares with Offred that there is an underground resistance network called Mayday that's working to overthrow Gilead. Of Glenn? Yes? Do you know if there's any electronics in this grocery store? I don't know. I'm here for soup. Okay. You guys looking for electronics? Yes. So yes. I would love to help you out. I'm looking for a USB to USB-C cable. Don't have that. Shit. Oh, Fred, why do you want a USB to USB-C cable? Oh, Fred, Fred, Fred wants to hook up his iPad to the TV <laughs> we, we <laughs> to watch his movies. We <laughs> could order that for you if you'd like. I've got it pulled up right here. We could order that in store. It'll be, take about four months to get here, but we, uh, you'll, come, you'll come back up and pick it up. I'm sorry, you guys don't have a single very small USB to USB-C cable? Mm, you would have to order that? No. I got the last one. I'm sorry. Oh, could have. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the last you one. You got the Hello. last one. It's of Harold. It's of nice Harold. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm offset. Oh, well, offset. Hello. Hi. Uh, I uh, see you're pregnant. Congratulations. Yes, I hate it. Yep, I bet. Yes. Like I'm a parasite. I'm very in you. happy. <laughs> I love my family. Hey, I guess it means you're not getting raped every month. <laughs> 
Hey y'all. Hey so I, right? I see you have about 49 USB to USB C yes. cables. That's the whole thing in your car. Yes. Can we just take one off your hands, no. please? No. I'm sorry. We're having a sort of party over at Harold Household. What are you having an electronics party? Yes. A cable party? We're oh. having a party where everyone goes home with a goodie bag with a USB B cable. I went oh. ahead and took the liberty of ordering one to store. I hope that's okay. And would you be interested in signing up for a rewards card? Get the rewards card. I, it's worth it. I, 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 you should I, absolutely get the rewards card. It's be- it's, it's only ninety nine a month. Are, are you about to leave? Do you have time? Can you stay here before while I sign up for this rewards card? I have time. Okay, I'll sign up for the rewards card. Okay. Oh, that, it was. Uh, it took that easy. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I thought it would take. Longer. She left. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> But she knows us. I told her my name's Offset. She's going to invite us to the party. That doesn't help us. We need to... She, she, we have no contact information for her. We don't know where she lives. Let's go chase her. She can't get far. She's nine months pregnant. Okay, I'll go... Down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Her- of Harold. Hello. It's me, Offset. Can what, you slow this, down, please? This party you're going to, is it, um, is, is it invite... It's at the Harold household. Well, my head of the household, Selena, she's like kind of the reason, like, she's like kind of top dog. You should oh. invite her to this party. <gasps> okay. And her husband is a chess wizard. Like, I'm telling you, <laughs> they're like, you're going to want them at this party. Well, I'll see what I can do, but I also don't have rights, so I'll try. I'll just, tell Harold. Yeah, just sweet talk them. Tell them. Tell them. I'll say, hey. Yeah. Tell them their handmaid's hot, too. Maybe hot that'll help. handmaids. So, hot handmaid, Selena, or whatever her name is. And then, yeah. And I'll start sweet talking my team and tell them this big party, exclusive party, and okay. you can see what's you know. Well, it's this Friday night. I'll send you the Canva invite. Okay. Can I come? Sure. Okay, thank Fine you. Fine, of Glenn. All right, let's go get your soup up, Glenn. She's so yeah. Can we get my weird. soup, please, before we leave? Can yeah. we run back into the store? Yeah. Thank thank you so much. Appreciate I'm it, Harold. You're welcome. Off Red wraps up her shopping and goes home. Serena suspects that Commander Fred is sterile. And so she arranges for Offred to have covert sexual encounters with Nick the Gardener. Offred discovers she enjoys these intimate moments with Nick, despite having memories of her husband. Hey, Nick the Gardener. Hey, uh, you can just call me Nick. That's fine. Oh, right. Sorry. It's just all these names like of Fred and Gilead. Like silly names. Are you two doing it? I don't hear it. Oh, no. Okay, no, we gotta. Get, I need foreplay before we get going. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave you two to it, but I you get a baby in there. Okay, and you don't have a problem that you, this guy looks nothing like your husband I, when they had the baby. It'll be fine. Okay, because okay, all right. I had a husband once. Didn't you say that you can control, like a Bene Gesserit, the result? <laughs> Oh no, this is the wrong guy. Oh, no. oh is this the wrong gardener? Oh, is this the gardener? Oh no. Charles locked the doors. Oh. Locking the doors. Gilead. He locked the door. Nick, come out of there. Wait, you guys don't know this guy? He's not the gardener? No, he's a different gardener. We wanted Nick the cool guy. This is Nick the and weird it guy. Can be, oh. It can look like anything. It's so like- I'm not quite sure where you're getting that information from. Um, but I, no, us Handmaid Tales, we don't have any superpowers. Us Handmaid Tales. Handmaid Tales on Hulu. Us Handmaid Tales, Hulu original. Hulu original. Um, we actually don't have any superpowers. We're just getting, you know, abused. Hey, Offset, we can't find the right gardener, so we think just, you know, this one will do. Okay. Okay. Do you mind? Actually, I don't care. I yeah, I was gonna say we really yeah no, I'll do it. Whatever. Great. You know, I used to have a husband back in the old time before this. Oh. And he was awesome, and he loved me. Do you even know what love is? Does anyone know what love is in this freaking world anymore? Uh no, but I mean we can talk about this. But I just want to make sure you're f- comfortable. I don't know if that's really. Yeah. I know. I'm not like the other guys. Yeah, that just, you know, throw themselves on to me. Yeah, that must be. While I'm holding their wives' hands. Oh. Yeah, it is bad. Yeah. Knock, knock, I brought cookies. Ah, I heard everything that you just said, all that information you divulged. That oh! I'm in love with Nick. Oh. 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 You're I don't not allowed care. to love him. Let's Why? run away together. Let's run away together. Charles, get my shoes. 
I cannot get wait. your shoes. Who is that? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we're, we were just about to have sex. Get out of here for just a second. Fine. Listen, we can run away together if we get a USB-C to USB-C cable. We just. What does that mean? What does that mean? The US, a USB-C to USB-C cable uh, is the I'm not cable. a tech guy. Uh, it's okay, Nick. Look at me and listen <laughs> to me. He's got okay. the cookies outside. Okay, if we get the USB-C. Okay, all right, don't touch me. That's fine. If we get the USB-C to USB-C cable, we can. Oh, you're stretching me? Nice. Um, is that, if we. Yeah. yeah, it feels good. Back at the shopping center, Offred hears from her new shopping partner that of Glenn disappeared. Serena finds evidence that Offred and the commander have a closer relationship than they thought. I'm your new walking partner. It's nice to meet you. Where's of Glenn? I'm not sure. I think she could have been. She's either sick or she was murdered let's get that pace up you got a new walking partner because you got potential oh my god it's the it's the team usa olympic scout oh my gosh well i already i know him that's (laughs) kyle we are already on the team i was yep the dream team oh oh well it's it's always stretching that's interesting all right cool today our walking goal Uh is gonna break four minutes miles four Four, minute mile four minute mile uh, walking? Yes. That seems very difficult. Did, okay. Did you? Were you able to do this last Olympics you were in? No, I play basketball. Oh. I play okay. basketball. Here's a basketball. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, now she's so fast. Oh my god. So they do have superpowers. <laughs> Women do. I had skills back in the real world. What were your skills? What were you did? I raised dogs. Was that is that impressive to you? Yeah. yeah. Can you show us? Yeah. I'll be a dog. All fours. Sit down! And I'm sat. Oh, you raised him very good. Thank you. I think she means train, but she forgot how to read and most of her brain doesn't work anymore. Uh, Don't read now much! Right, of course. (laughs) That made sense. Don't read now much, yeah. Um, Hey, I'm just checking in at the store here. Is my cable in yet? Uh, It's gonna be about another three to four months. Damn it. But good news, Yes. it's not in. (laughs) That's All right. wonderful. Thank Wait, you. Look, that woman has about 50 cables in her what? cart. Hello, it's just of Harold. Oh. I got more. We did wow. have a couple in the back. Yeah, 50. A couple. That's more than a couple. More for the party. Uh, yes, the party that I can't wait to go to. Oh, I forgot to send it to you. I'll do that when I get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send, send that to me as soon as you can. It's going to be epic. We're going to have jello shots. That's okay, great. Well, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to leave. I have 150 cans of soup. I'm going to take these home. They don't. They, I'm rattling them. There's clearly not soup, but whatever. Oh, it's beans. It's <laughs> It's something. It's pinto beans, hey, right? Something yeah. all right. It's something all right. <laughs> Listen, of Harold, yeah. can I just grab one? I just, uh, honestly, I just need, I just need, I just need one. I just need one cable. One cable. Why? Because my dearest friend, if he doesn't get it, he's going to beat me, and I just don't want to get beat. We shouldn't be taking this long in between sets. Get back on the track. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, you you think about it, but just let me know. i got to run four minutes. I'll be back in four minutes. Okay. Literally, give me four minutes. Okay, fine. No running. You're walking. Oh, right. Sorry. You gotta move forward. Ooh. That's Woo! Cool. All right, four minutes. Are you are you happy with that, Kyle? That was good. Yes. I just realized that's your brother's name. That's fine. Small world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, uh, Offset, but I'm gonna take my 150 cans of soup and go home. Back at the house, men arriving with the uniforms of the secret police have come to take Offred away. Nick tells Offred to trust these men because they're secretly May Day resistance members and not the secret police. Offred doesn't know whether or not to trust Nick and decides to go with the men anyway as she is loaded into a van. I can't tell what based on what they're wearing. What are they? Yeah, they're wear- uh, they look like cops because they have guns, but they're but wearing... That guy's got a baseball jersey on. That one's got a... He's a firefighter. That one's a cop. It looks it's like... It's the party bus! Oh, we got invited <laughs> to the party. Oh, they're going to... I told you, I, I, Fred, I, I, I told you about this party. It's the big party. I can't believe it. Should we get on the bus? Wait, why are they barricading the door? <laughs> because it's an invite only. Oh. Y'all better dance. There's a stripper pull back there. What's the temperature in there, though? It's 15. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. That's perfect for you, Fred. You love the cold temperatures. I love that crap. And I think there's actually some some chess... Uh, they're playing chess over there. We have a chess corner. They I have a chess say that corner. Word. I just dove through the window into of the Harold. bus. Of Harold. 
Do you have the goodie bags? They're at my house. They're at the party. The party's not here. This is the transportation to the party. Okay, okay. So, yeah, sorry. don't come in. Don't come. I'm in the bus right now. They just got pulled down. Okay. All right. Well, I sorry. I, I'm sorry not to be eager about the goodie bags and stuff. I'm not coming just for the goodie bags. I want to come to this party. Let's get on this bus. I'm going to sit next to the baseball player. It's not a party. It's a bad bus. It's a pet bus? Oh. Sit down and put your seat belts on, guys. This is not a party bus. We are the secret police. That's right. We're taking our jerseys off, and now we're shirtless. But where's police? These police are hot. I'm so sorry, right. Offset. We used to be stripper cops, and now we're real cops. That's <laughs> that's interesting. That's the pipeline. Well, they that. wanted secret police. Wait, that are you arresting be. us for going to a party? She invited us. No, uh, so When we're done trap. with you, you're going to be wishing that you were arrested. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Offset. Whatever you want to do to me, I, it's been a million times worse just living here. So I can take whatever you're gonna give. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to think about that then. I'm so sorry, Offset. The tech party was a you, trap. You set me up. Well, yeah. You seemed easy to set up. You were trying to overthrow the. I was not trying to overthrow the government. I was just trying to get out of here with Charles and the USBC and and my lover Nick. Are well, you? maybe we can. You know what? You know what? Maybe we can fight him. You called Boom. the police on me! Shot in the head, dead. You, oh my god! Boom, dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, still alive? <laughs> now it's time for Wait, your she's still alive. punishment. She's oh. still alive. Sorry, okay. All right. Fight them, Offset! Fight them! Fight them? But Nick told me to trust them. Oh, who do I trust? My heart or my friend? Trust me. Okay, oh. I think. <laughs> well, uh, were those like, your yeah, last she's words? The one that got me yes. <laughs> okay. Not even be a debate. She just trapped you. Yeah, what yeah, do you yeah. mean trust her? Okay. <laughs> now, when we're done with you, you're gonna wish you were arrested. We're gonna punish you very hard. Oh, I hope you don't punish me by giving me a nice bath and you know playing with my hair. That would <laughs> suck because I hate that. I love. Wait, I'm a cop now. Wait, uh, wait. Yeah. What? That was the plan. Can you talk at a normal volume, please? That was the plan. If you. Give me a bath and play with my hair. I'm gonna be right. so mad. I hate that. I'm gonna scream. It's <laughs> such bad punishment. We're gonna give her a bath and play with her hair. Well, Should I'm, we not do that I'm, now? I, I'm, are you are you dumb? She's clearly saying that because that's what she wants. I know. She's that's why smiling I'm saying, as she we says. We should it. probably switch it up. Oh, I get it. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna give you a bath. No. Bath and Beyond. Let's okay. go. <laughs> should, we, should we just get started with the playing with the hey, hair right now? Other cop, get over here. I'm going to tell you what we're really doing. Okay, what are we really doing? We're going doing? to Off Red's house. She has 150 cans of soup, and it's really bad soup. Okay, I think that it's not going to be very enjoyable. Wait, so that was the whole thing about the soup is that the soup is bad? <laughs> it's expired? <laughs> yes. Okay. And we're here. Oh, all right. God. Let's get her in this bathtub. Oh, it's about to get uncomfortable. Off all my clothes. I'm Wait a bathtub. minute. She's in the bathtub. What are you doing with all those cans of soup? Bath bomb. Oh, no, you f***ers. <laughs> you put... These are just beans. Wait. What is... I've... Unbeknownst to them. <laughs> unbeknownst you, you're talking really loud right now. Unbeknownst to them, one of the cans secretly had a USB C to USB C cable that I put up my vagina <laughs> so that they can't find it. Off Red's story ends there, but the novel concludes with a metafictional epilogue described as a transcript of the Historical Association Conference taking place after the fall of the Republic of Gilead in the year 2195. The keynote speaker describes in his masculine way the life of Offred as it was recorded onto cassette tapes that were later found and transcribed by historians. All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming to the rise and fall of Gilead. I am the speaker today. And we have some cassette tapes we would like to play for you that, uh, some, some first-hand account cassette tapes filmed by the Fred family, um, who I offset- I have voice memos if you want to use these instead of the cassette tapes. Great, we'll do that too. All right, I'm the TA, I'm just going to be handling the tech here, so okay, I'll great. take- I'll, We'll do the cassettes first, if that's all right. Um, oh, it's not really- It's not going- to, uh, I have it downloaded, it'll take two seconds. No, you gotta unplug- Could you unplug and replug? Could you- Sorry, is there anyone else- Is anyone here a tech guy? Charles, yes. Play cassette tape four. This is Offred, and and 
um, during the the rise of Gilead. Mm. And this is, um, I'm leaving this voice note to just keep track of my uh, poetry that I wanted to write. Um, yes. Because I just <laughs> feel like I need to express how I've been feeling recently. Um, bed. Just for the record, my voice memos, they're all just, uh, they're just c- complete recollections of all the events that occurred. If we want to throw these on. I'm Turning up the volume. in his bed. Thank you, Charles. In his bed. Alone with others. I miss my friends. Turning volume down. Husband. I miss my husband. Where's the bread? Okay. Uh, Charles, Where Charles, is the this bread? is the wrong cassette tape. Maximum Let's- volume. Oh. I wish I was back with okay, my Charles, husband. Cancel cassette tape, Charles. Did you know that Gilead is sponsored by Nike? Kid, can you do something about this? It's can really warm it's in here. Working. I'm turning the, the temperature. The ducks flew over the house. Okay. Uh, Charles, play cassette tape five. It was Playing cassette tape five. Playing cassette tape, did you say six? Playing cassette tape six. <sighs> and that- go. Volume um, up. This is, this is off red. This is off red. Day two of my uh, voice memo diary. Oh, good. This, this is the one. Wanted to, you know, sing an original song that I wanted to keep track of. Damn it. I have these chord. They're organized in the wrong Very thing. Very artistic. She's touching a lot of different mediums, which I like. I can't find my blow dryer. A mute. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I guess I'll just sort of recount what happened. After Offset was in the bath full of beans, bad soup, she put the USB-C to USB-C connector into her vagina and then left home that night, returning to the Fred household. When Fred went to, you know, do the usual monthly uh, ceremony, he found a USB-C where his penis should have been. And he took it out and said, what is this? And she said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so then he, she ran to her room, plugged in Charles to the grid, and now Charles is our holy God, sort of and all-knowing tech guy, tech guy <laughs> who kind of is shit at his job now that I'm thinking about it. But that's basically, I, I, guess, I guess I really could have summed up this whole conference in two seconds. She took the thing out of her <laughs> vagina, hooked up Charles to the internet, and Charles became the... A utilitarian, utilitarian dictator. Wait, we know then him. what happened? That for that recounting. Then what happened? Then you know stuff sort of just um, kept on trucking. Turning on audience mic for Q and A now. Yeah, yeah, it will take. And questions. the audience mic is very loud and feedbacky. Yep. Couple questions. Wow. <laughs> Step back from the mic, kid. Uh, I'm yelling. Nope. Step back. Couple we can hear questions. You. Oh I have a couple questions for Off Red. Damn it, Charles. <laughs> I have a question for Off Red. Okay, so she's dead. <laughs> She's been dead, <laughs> like but I'm sure Charles years later. can come up with an AI rendering of what she would have said. Ask I can. Charles the question. Ah, uh, Fred, when you were ma- coming up with your poetry, how'd you do it? Hello, child. This is Off Fred. Hello. AI variation one. Poetry. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's great. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, young boy? Yeah. Oh. When you were a kid, did you ever, like, have any hobbies or anything? No. I did not. (laughs) I lost all my rights (laughs) at 15 and was raped. Yes. Yes. Does that answer any of your questions? Yeah. All right. We have room for one more question. One more question from Charles. We got one more question. From anybody in the audience. Anyone. I'm Alfred's daughter. <gasps> what? <gasps> you must be like 200 Daughter's years old. Daughter's daughter. I'm her grand. Can I ask a question instead of her? You cannot tell me he gets to ask a question instead of me. I feel like this is very cool that I'm here. I'm at yeah, the well, mic. I thought all her relatives died. We'll do one more question from you, and then we'll do Whatever. one years after. Do you watch any TV shows? This is AI Alfred. I watch Love Island. Oh, interesting. Um, and nothing else. <laughs> that's mm, that's very fascinating. This is AI Alfred signing off. I'm so sorry. We have no more room for any questions. What yeah. the no f- matter how <laughs> revelatory the person is. And so, with the help of Alfred, Charles was able to connect to the internet and end the Republic of Gilead. And now you know all about the Handmaid's Tale. Whoa! Seems straightforward enough. Mm. I feel like I should watch the. Show. I think you really should. It's 
Very good. Does the show cover just the book or does it like expand it? Covers it covers the more? book and it expands. I don't know how many books there are. Are there multiple oh, there's books? Oh, more books. Sequel came out like over 20 years later. The interesting thing is the writer did, maybe you already know this, maybe I've said this before, didn't include anything that hasn't historically happened to women. It None of it is fictional. Hmm. But it's what's interesting is, well, I guess that's kind of a spoiler, but he already said it. Yeah, that's but fine. It's like the, they blame the women for there being a population problem, but it's really that the men are infertile. But they, they blame all the women. Oh, because they're like, oh, that's interesting. Also, that's kind of like a real life issue. Aren't more and more people infertile now? I'm pretty sure it's because of, it's because of. Red 40? They say it's because of the food that we eat. Or oh. that's one of the one of the reasonings. I believe it. I've been eating McDonald's eat for twenty three like, years. Chemicals. We consume a lot of chemicals that have uh, runoff, negative mm. effects on our health. What's the worst food that you eat regularly? Like health wise. Yes. Um. Probably a- anything fried. Like nerd gummies. Those are so good. They're so. They have to be so bad for you. There's nothing real in that. <laughs> like that's that, yeah. It's all you know. Pretend. It's like just sugar and goo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's literally it. Also, like like artificial ice cream is like really bad for you. I'm try- what artificial, artificial ice cream, ice cream like mean? if like if you're eating like ice like a big brand ice cream from the freezer section, like it won't melt if you like leave it out because it's so artificial. What about Ben and Jerry's? Is that okay? I know that's fine. I think. <gasps> Thank God, because I'm only eating mm. Ben and Jerry's. But like some some like drumstick brand stuff like that. Ben and Jesuit. <clears throat> They should, cream. Ben and Jerry's should make a Ben and Jesuit flavor for Dune. We should get our own Ben and Jerry's flavor. Do you guys American like... American High Cookie Crumble. Do you like hard serve or soft serve? I like... Depends on my mood. I'm going to go for hard serve. Ryan, give good? us a hard serve yeah, right now. Yeah, give us a hard serve. Ah! Nice. Woo! This is mine. Mmm. Aiden? Here you go. <laughs> I don't know if there's any left for you. I know what I'm doing. You're getting sentenced to 40 years in prison. <laughs> <laughs> she got you. This was The Handmaid's Tale. And that was We Didn't Read It. Follow us on socials if you don't. American High Shorts, College Life, and Barely Adult on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Follow our personal accounts if you want to support us. Ten. Um, five. Six. And five, that six, was seven, that. Eight. We'll see you next week. Why would you? Okay. Goodbye.